Uh, yeah, my name is Officer Brooks. What's your first name, Officer? Officer Bill Brooks. Spell it for us in full. Uh, B-I-L-L, -L, last name Brooks, B-R-O-O-K-S. Up. What did it look like? How did you uh, get there? When I showed up, the uh, car was fully engulfed in flames. Uh, me and two officers arrived at the same time. They grabbed the fire extinguishers and tried to uh, put the fire out. I proceeded to break the glasses, uh, the windows, trying to get the uh, victims out of the vehicle. But uh, both victims' legs were pinned inside, so we couldn't get them out until the uh, fire department got in. What did you use to break the glass? Uh, Aspartame. How, how high were these flames? Uh, I would say probably like uh, eight feet. They're very high. Were you one of the first ones on scene? Uh, when I got on scene, like I say, there was two other officers arrived when I arrived. There was uh, two officers there when I got there. Officer Skillman, and I uh, can't remember the other officer that was on scene. It's kind of crazy to roll up and see something like that, knowing you've got two lives hanging in the balance. So, I mean, what are you thinking? Uh, the first thing I'm thinking is just trying to get out there and uh, get those guys out the vehicle. <laughs> this is the first time you've uh, had to make a rescue on some citizens? Yes, sir. It's my first time. I could uh, tell just from being on the road, we could hear one of those uh, men were in a lot of pain. So obviously you've got some people dealing with traumatic injuries. Uh, what has to go through your head when you're approaching these, uh, these folks with these injuries? I mean, when you sit back and think about it after the fact, you know, sometimes you question, like, why would you run into a situation where a car is fully engulfed? But, you know, the training that they give us and the fact that, you know, I signed up for this job to help people, I never second guess the, you know, going in and helping. The last we heard, these people were in pretty serious condition. Would, if they happen to see this, would you have a message for them? Uh, I just hope you guys have a speedy recovery. Uh, just let them know, you know, personally, I know I did all I can do to try to save their lives. Any burns or injuries, officer? Uh, no, sir. I just had glass on my uh, on my arms, but it just came up once I washed it off. Now that you've had a second to kind of decompress from everything, have you, have you thought back about everything it took for you five officers to pull together and save these people's lives? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was pretty heroic. I mean, unless you were there, you won't, you wouldn't even grasp what it really was, uh, we was really faced with. Because the flames, like I say, the heat was tremendous. Uh, like you say, we were hearing the screams from the guys. I mean, to hear somebody screaming that loud and, you know, asking for help and, you know, you're trying to help them, but you really can't because they're pent inside. I mean, it's kind of tough. I mean, I'm literally watching comments go by saying people, God bless you, thank you for your service, calling you heroes. How does that feel to know the whole community is so thankful? Uh, it makes me feel good. I mean, like I said, I signed up to help people, and that's what I'm always do. Thank you.